this is just a quick little view of the mechanism running um, for this clip I took the mainspring barrel and the fusee out I'm just powering it by pushing the center wheel with a pair of tweezers but you can see that it's in working condition um, this little clip doesn't begin to show the time that I spent um, doing some modifications and final adjustments to get this to this point but here we are and um, this is the view of the, the balance and the hairspring in, in their uh, in their place working Okay, so we have a working contrate wheel um, and pinion. Um, wonderful, 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 wonderful. But we are far from finished um, uh, with the time train. Uh, there's two different directions we need to go to, three different things we need to do yet, um, many things actually. Starting with the contrate wheel, um, you'll notice that it, it is not spoked um, and so we need to I, I wanted to get a, a working wheel first and and now we're gonna we're gonna cut spokes in it just like the other gears have spokes cut into it um, as well as what most people don't uh, may not realize um, certainly uh, the, the, the owner the owners of such pieces usually don't realize is that um, originally, and I don't know how well you can see it or can tell on the on the video here, but uh, originally, all the brass parts in a, a timepiece like this were gold plated, the wheels as well as the plates. And so I don't know how well you can tell, but uh, you know the the contrate wheel, which is made of brass. Um, is uh, is still just plain brass and we need to um, we don't need to but I, I'm going to after I spoke this wheel I'm going to electroplate the brass now originally um, back in the the 1700s the brass would have been uh, plated using a, a method called mercury gilding and for obvious reasons um, I, I'm not going to use that method. Um, it involves um, dissolving gold in mercury and painting the piece of brass with uh, with this mixture, and then using heat driving off or vaporizing the mercury. And um, I value my my mind and my sound mind. I thank God every morning for a sound mind, and I'm not going to compromise that. So. I'm going to use a, a method, a, a modern method of electroplating. Um, the the idea of gold plating is to um, help prevent the brass from tarnishing and corroding. Um, I think that's as well as you know, there's an, a certain aesthetic appeal to it as well. But um, you know the aesthetic aspect of it isn't usually appreciated by the consumer the owner of the piece um, so I'm gonna use a different method I'm still gonna plate it I'm gonna use a different met method but for those that are maybe detail oriented um, you know the gold is probably not going to match the original um, pieces but it will be covered with a, a layer of gold. It also involves, uh, if you look at this right, you can still see the machining marks. We need to polish those machining marks off before we electroplate it. So uh, I'm gonna spoke it, uh, uh, actually take the two pieces apart, the pinion and the, and the wheel apart, spoke the wheel, um, electroplate it, and then the steel pinion we haven't, even though it's working, we haven't done any heat treatment like I did heat treatment on the screws. So I'm going to harden and temper the, the, the steel and polish the pinion. Uh, this is still very rough in, 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 
it shows the machining uh, on the pinion, so I need to polish that. That that by itself is is another whole step, um, but we know, thankfully, we know now that this is a working uh, working assembly, and we can proceed with that. Along the way of testing this, um, I initially set this up uh, completely with the with the fusee, the fusee chain, and uh, and the mainspring uh, barrel. And immediately upon winding this uh, this up, I realized that um, the mainspring was too weak. It had been replaced. You know, this is a timepiece that's well over 200 years old, um, and it's been replaced. The mainspring has been replaced, and it was replaced by a significantly weaker mainspring. It did not have the power to power the mechanism. So I'm going to have to order a new mainspring. I'm probably going to order two or three different ones uh, of different strength so that we, um, you know, start with the Winker one and, and work, our way, work our way up until we find one strong enough to work the mechanism. I don't want to overpower the mechanism. Uh, I want one that is just strong enough to do the job. So, um, so that's that's something that I have yet to do to uh, complete the time train and make it um, proper and functional. Also, I noticed, uh, this is, um, you see on the back side of the, the main spring barrel is what we call the ratchet wheel, and this is the click that engages the ratchet wheel. Um, but you'll note this spring right here. Um, this is a replacement. Um, this is a newer spring. This is like 1900s, uh, 20th century spring, and we're talking about a uh, 18th century uh, timepiece. Um, the screw looks like it may be original, but the spring is not. So somewhere along the line, um, the spring as well as this little steel pin here uh, will re replace the original spring. So I'm going to uh, probably do a video where I just uh, make a spring and this would be the click spring so this is specifically for holding that click against the ratchet wheel um, but the spring itself which was a flat steel piece not a wire like this is just a bent wire was all one assembly that went down and engaged the the click and and the the steel pin was actually pushed into the the spring and not into the plate so um, that's that's another whole project probably another whole video just making that and uh, guessing it's really a matter of guessing what the the original shape would have been like I think I can get something close I will at the very least make it look make it look like it's original um, so you know, I wish it was as simple as, uh, yay, we've got a working piece and now we can move on to the alarm mechanism. But no, actually, we're quite a bit off. We've got, uh, we've got to fin do the finish work. Um, we've got to find a better fitting mainspring. And we've got to make a cl click spring. And then, then we can move on to the alarm mechanism. So... Okay, correction. Um, got something wrong. Um, and I started working on the ratchet or the the click spring here when I realized that uh, this ratchet wheel and this click are not actively uh, engaging and disengaging. Uh, when you wind a watch, that would be the 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 ratcheting that's going on in in the fusee. So when you wind the piece, um, you can see the click here, and the ratchet wheel spans the 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 bottom of the fusee. Um, that's the clicking sound you hear when you wind a fusee. But this particular ratchet wheel and click, um, once they're set they no longer 
uh, are engaging, disengaging, like like the one in the fusee. Uh, they're set, and in every fusee uh, pocket watch that I've worked on, this particular click, which actually is on the dial side, it's on the what would be the underside of what you're seeing right now on a pocket watch, not on the inside. This particular click does not have a click spring. So the click spring that, that someone added to this um, earlier, uh, not only was it not original in that, that, it was, that it was newer, but it was not original in that there wasn't one there to begin with. And he saw a click, he saw a ratchet wheel and said, oh, it needs a click spring. And he drilled these two holes in here, threaded the one hole, and he added that there, and it totally doesn't need it. This is, this is, um, this is very common. This is the way it's done. So that's good news for me. That's one less part that I have to make. Um, but it does leave a couple unsightly holes. Um, and we'll uh, we'll clean them up a bit, but for the most part, that's just going to have to be part of the story of the of the timepiece. Um, so we don't have to make it. All right, we will start then with the finishing of the contrite. I've already looked up. Uh, various mainsprings uh, for which to order so maybe by the by the time we get this done the mainsprings will be in and uh, we'll be able to test those out thanks for watching we'll see you the next time